Okay, Yellow Wallywog. I know that this one's given me some difficulty in the past. But let's see if we can... Perhaps have some better luck this time. And it looks like we probably will as long as we, you know, can remain underneath the zone here. Unless they, you know, are able to hit me through things like that. And with a couple of forward smashes in that blade beam, we've got what it takes to take out the Wallywog, which is one step closer to getting one of my favorite characters unlocked. Okay, the Mario team with dangerously high winds and the Beast Balls. Uh, I'm hoping that Fox is going to be a good choice for us here. We are immune to the wind because of the Latio Spirit. And that reflector actually is going to come in a lot of handy to make sure that these projectiles do end up being mine when and if they use them. Did we get one of them? I think we did. So that's going to take out one of the Marios. And then we can use our second final smash on this other one. And that'll finish things off. There we go. There we go. Up smash. Jigglypuff is now a full member of the team. Oh, you're kidding me. You jumped out of the way of that? There we go. Is this forward smash going to do it? I think it will. Especially if we space it to the point where we get the tipper. Man, she is just using that. Parasol, isn't she? I mean, she's supposed to, because that's the way that this fight is designed, but... And she's floatier than she is normally, too. Up air with the three turnips, though. That'll be enough to take her out. Drop down. I know you want to. And you didn't quite make it back through the stage, so that's good enough for me. Come on. There we go. I was hoping to get a bounce off there, but uh, turns out it wasn't needed because I started the fight giant. Yeah, I forgot about not being able to go this way, but we've got that whole path to that section unlocked. So as soon as we press this switch here, we'll be able to backtrack that way. So come on, let's uh, punch the little dealio there. And just like that, we can double back and grab this area. You had enough? You better have, because uh, you're up at enough percent that this should take you out. There we go. Well, that took care of the Donkey Kong. I don't like uh, <laughs> the fact that that hammer was there off the top, but it didn't seem to matter in the end. So apparently, the strategy here is to just short hop up air, and that should be just about enough to do him in. Because that up air just hits so many times.
And just like that, it, uh, it works. It's uh, kind of lame, but it did the job. Did that really do it? <laughs> he trapped me in a black hole, and I hit him with a down air, and that was enough to take him out. That's hilarious, actually. Of course, I was large, too, so that uh, probably helped quite a bit. There we go. That's enough to take out the giant Yoshi. Just a couple of well-placed hits with the Pichu. There we go. There goes the Mewtwo. And all before he had a chance to use his final smell a little faster. Uh, giant Yoshi forward smash, I guess. That's enough to take out the Pikachu. And now we have Pikachu on our team as well. Well, uh, that up smash seemed to have done it for all of those pits. The question is, do we get to use him again? And uh, apparently not, because this last guy uh, just decided to jump off the edge. And uh, two dash attacks there. That's all it takes to knock out a Wario on a walk-off. <laughs> That's such a funny little gimmick there with Isabelle. But it worked. Well, I guess the Lucario can throw his Aura Sphere into the Remote Bomb and take himself out for us. And that adds him to our team. Alright, let's visit the skill tree a little bit. We just grabbed the Shield Durability. So let's see what else we can grab that's going to be beneficial for us. Um, Fire Explosion Resist, that'll be good, I think. And then Tilt Attack Double Up, that'll be interesting to have, because what we already have Tilt Attack Up from this side of the skill tree. There we go! Pico fells to Pika. Nice work. And then we can go and get Captain Falcon at some point. Nice little uh, demonstration there on the Teddy using the Inkling. Didn't even take a single hit, which is always nice to see. Um, was that all it took? Was a forward air from the Ice Climbers there? Gosh, that was something else. Alright, that should be about it for this Bayonetta. I might have to... No, I won't have to hit her with the second final smash. That's going to be it for her. There we go. 
just a couple of forward smashes from Lucario takes out the wolf. All right, I guess uh, that's it for this Sonic then, because the other two left a little earlier. Doesn't uh, work out so nice when your uh, own weapon gets turned against you, doesn't it? Jab, jab, power dunk. Always works for me. Well, I would have had uh, about three of these guys dead if it weren't for the fact that there's a ceiling right now. Oh, I guess that uh, did it for the last two of them. One of them bounced off a ceiling that was just going away, but not going to complain. Oh, I didn't expect that the up smash would kill there, but it did. Uh, okay, so we managed to get rid of the Ken before uh, he was able to use that final smash of his. And these should go a lot better for us now that we have our Sen in hand, and indeed it did. There we go, forward smash from Banjo. Didn't even need to use Wonder Wing once in that fight. Though it probably wouldn't have hurt. And with the forward smash there, Jigglypuff was able to take out Captain Falcon and get him onto our roster. All right, these uh, Octolings should just about be done. And with that up smash, they indeed are. There we go. A couple of forward smashes from the Captain Falcon there, and we were able to take out the Tronbon and her cronies. Oh, that just kills. And that does too. Do not mess around with Giant Sephiroth. Jeez. You can get grabbed out of that? Now that's something I don't agree with. Oh, does that get rid of her? It does not. Okay, Shulk. That's it for you. There we are, and that ought to do it for the Lucina here, too, especially where we hit him with the Pirate Final Smash. And indeed, it is. Is that all it took? Wow, that's quite a strong Donkey Kong there. Wow, how long does he get to swing this hammer for? Okay, now you're done. Oh, that just barely hit him, and that's going to be enough to do with the Luigi in. There we are. 
And that is going to do it for today's uh, episode. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, feel free to hit a like or leave a like on the video. Don't forget to subscribe for daily variety content. And when we get back to this series next week, we are going to start off with a uh, link, which will be a fun fight for sure. But until then, thanks again, and I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day.